The Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion is a heavy-lift helicopter operated by the United States military. As the Sikorsky S-80, it was developed from the CH-53C Stallion, mainly by adding a third engine, adding a seventh blade to the main rotor, and canting the tail rotor 20 degrees, it was built by Sikorsky Aircraft for the United States Marine Corps. The less common MH-53E Sea Dragon fills the United States Navy's knee for long-range minesweeping or airborne mine countermeasures missions and perform heavy lift duties for the Navy. The Sikorsky CA-53K King Stallion, which has new engines, new composite rotor blades, and a wider aircraft cabin, is set to replace the CH-53E. The CH-53 was the product of the U.S. Marines' Heavy Helicopter Experimental HHX competition begun in 1962. Sikorsky's S-65 was selected over Bulling Vertel's modified CH-47 Chinook version. The Marine Corps uses the Super Stallion in the amphibious assault role and for transporting heavy equipment. The U.S. Navy also used the Super Stallion for vertical delivery and recovery of damaged aircraft on aircraft carriers. In 2000, the USMC announced the CH-53X program to upgrade the CH-53E and extend its service life to 2025. Upgrades would include a new engine, substantially increased payload capacity, all-composite rotor, elastomeric rotor head, and glass cockpit with fly-by-wire controls. The seven-bladed main rotor is fitted with a Sikorsky blade inspection system. The main rotor blades are of Nomex honeycomb construction with a titanium spar and a composite glass fiber and epoxy skin. The rotor head is primarily titanium and steel. The CH-53E accommodates three crew. The helicopter is equipped with a Hamilton Sunstrand Automatic Flight Control System AFCS with two digital flight control computers, a four-axis autopilot, an attitude, and heading reference system, a Hedron's a Rockwell Collins GPS-3, a global positioning system, and a Northrop Grumman, Teledyne Ryan, and APN-217 Doppler radar. The AHRS has been replaced with a new system from BAE Systems. The cockpit displays include four 152mm, six in color displays, type CMA2082, supplied by CMC Electronics, formerly Canadian Marconi, and an Elbit ANVIS 7 NVG hot head up display. The HMVS includes a pilot night vision system PNVS by Lockheed Martin, a Honeywell integrated helmet and display sighting system IHADDSS and Arathian systems, formerly Hughes forward-looking infrared, and AAQ-16 DFLIR. The cockpit is fitted with a Rockwell Collins ARC-200, and 10 secure tactical radio communication system. The helicopter can be equipped with a Goodrich Health and Usage Monitoring System Humums. The cabin is fitted with folding canvas seats along the sides in normal configuration to seat 37, but the addition of a center row allows the accommodation of a total of 55 troops. Martin Baker, with headquarters in Uxbridge in UK, has been awarded a $20 millimeters contract to supply new crashworthy seats. 31 to a helicopter. The cabin is equipped with a hydraulically operated rear ramp for loading freight. The cabin can hold up to seven standard 1.22 millimeters, 48 in pallets, and the helicopter can carry a maximum internal load of 14,515 kilograms. An external load lift system developed by Skyvib Technologies allows the helicopter to carry separate underslung loads that can be carried simultaneously and delivered separately to different drop locations.
the Super Stallion can carry a maximum external payload of 16,330 kilograms. The Super Stallion is equipped with an ADKATE AAAR-47 missile warning system and chaff and flare dispensers. An initial six CH-53 helicopters of the German Armed Forces are fitted with the EABS AAR-60 MILDS missile warning system, also fitted on the NH-90 and Tiger helicopters. Northrop Grumman was awarded a contract to equip the USMC CH-53E helicopters with the Directional Infrared Countermeasures System DIRCM, self-sealing bladder fuel tanks, each of 119 2L capacity are installed in the forward sections of the sponsons. An internal two-cell fuel tank provides 146 5 of fuel. Drop tanks, with total capacity 492 1L, can also be installed externally to each sponson. For extended range operations, the helicopter can be fitted with seven additional tanks, providing an additional 794 9 of fuel. The Super Stallion can extend its range endurance through in-flight refueling. The helicopter is fitted. The CH-53E Super Stallion is the current heavy-lift helicopter used by Marines around the world. It is capable of rapidly transporting troops and equipment from ship to shore, launching amphibious assaults, facilitating logistics and maintenance, providing sustainment and supplies, and equipping the warfighter for mission success. The powerful Super Stallion is capable of lifting heavy military equipment, yet still compact enough to fit on board an amphibious warfare ship where it can take off carrying 16 tons of cargo and deliver it 50 miles away before returning to base. The Super Stallion has been a workhorse around the world for the Marine Corps for more than 30 years, performing a full range of military combat operations in Beirut, Somalia, the Persian Gulf, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Libya. There are currently 138 CA-53E aircraft in operation. The Super Stallion incorporates Global Positioning System GPS Forward-Looking Infrared Radar FLR. Communications include ultra-high-frequency UHF, very high EHF radios, secure communications capability, and identification friend or faux IFF. Currently out of production, the CH-53E is going through a rolling period of rebuilding, upgrading, and increasing safety, reliability, and capabilities, called a RE-SET for the Super Stallion. The base model CH-53E serves both the U.S. Navy and Marines in the heavy lift transport role. It is capable of lifting heavy equipment, including the eight-wheeled LAVE-25 light armored vehicle, and the M198, 155 mm howitzer with ammunition and crew. The Super Stallion can recover aircraft up to its size, which includes all Marine Cork aircraft except for the KC-130. Although dimensionally similar, the three-engined CH-53E Super Stallion is a much more powerful aircraft than the original Sikorsky S-65 twin-engined CH-53AC Stallion. The CH-53E also added a larger main rotor system with a 7th blade. The Super Stallion has a cruise speed of 173 miles per hour, 278 kilometers, and a range of 621 miles, 1,000 kilometers. The helicopter is fitted with a forward extendable in-flight refueling probe. It can carry three machine guns, one at the starboard side crew door, one at the port window, just behind the co-pilot, and a firing position on the tail, ramped the CH-53E. Also has chaff flare dispensers. 
The CH-53E helicopters are powered by three General Electric turbofan engines, Type T-64G416, rated at 3266. The engine cowlings and transmission fairings are of Kevlar construction. The Super Stallion can extend its range and endurance through in-flight refueling. The helicopter is fitted with a forward extendable in-flight refueling probe, and it can also hoist hose refuel from a surface ship Weidelston hover mode. It's very much the workhorse of the Marine Corps and is the most heavily utilized aircraft in the fleet. The Marines activated these War Reserves CA-53E helicopters to sustain high, hot, and long-duration heavy lift for U.S. and coalition forces engaged in the global war on terrorism. The Marines hadn't lost any aircraft to enemy action, but the harsh and unforgiving natural environment where these aircraft are relied upon for day-to-day -day logistics and assault support has taken its toll. In order to meet present mission requirements, deployed Marines have to transfer aircraft between squadrons.